there are some common pitfalls that I've observed with stage two trainees. So, so basically, if you follow this advice, it should really help you in terms of preparing effectively. Now, the first one is retinoscopy. Trainees often fail because they don't keep their retinoscopy skills up to date. So it's really important that if you haven't been using your retinoscope currently, that you practice your retinoscopy because you won't be able to use an autorefractor or a previous prescription with the patient in stage two because they'll be new to your practice. So fine tuning those retinoscopy skills, really important. It's essential that you practice handwriting records on those templates so that you appreciate how long it takes to actually handwrite a record. The other thing is that you're obviously going to be observed closely by the assessor and some trainees get really anxious about being observed and so ask your supervisor or another optometrist in the practice to sit in with you closely observing you working with some patients in the run-up to the assessment and that way it'll help you to kind of get over your nerves of have, having somebody almost sitting on your shoulder as it were during the assessment. Now the other things are a bit more surprising but don't listen to your friends. I've been in assessments where it is obvious the trainee is thinking about a patient that their friend had the day before. Okay. We have over 600 patients involved as simulated patients in stage two of the assessment process. So the chance of that grey haired patient sitting in your chair being the patient who your friend saw the day before is remote. So don't write down they've got cortical cataracts when you know jolly well they haven't. All right. Just do what you normally do and report what you see and then you'll be on safe ground.